Welcome to Shadow Empress Tarot. I am a messenger of the Most High with the power to travel through the shadow realms. I am here to guide you through spiritual warfare so you can achieve your soul's desires. What you need to know is God is my guide, truth is my religion, and my channel is intense shadow work. So if you are mentally or emotionally unstable, You've been warned. Hey, y'all. Um, thank you guys for everything. This reading is a continuation of the previous reading. Um... Um, I'm recording back to back, so I don't even know what I'm going to name that one. But I know that this is a continuation for a fact because I'm like, this is like the con continuation. And I took out my pendulum to confirm it. And um, spirit was like, yeah, this is a continuation. The reading before this one. This person is literally a bona fide lunatic. They are mentally gone. Like it was, they were so crazy inside of their mind that it was very difficult for, for me to explain it. And as I pulled these cards, Spirit wanted me to get deeper and more clear. On where this person's mind is and why it is the way it is. Like, why why are they going crazy, literally? I mean, they're beyond going crazy at this point. They are crazy. I mean, crazy is I mean lunatic. Like they are they are they are in a state of lunacy. And uh I remember saying like, man, this is like being in this person's mind, like it's difficult for me to explain it. And I'm not necessarily sure if I'm going to be able to explain it any better in this reading. But what I do see so far is the why they are losing it. Like it's going deeper into that, like this person's thought process. And where they, where they are emotionally. They were never in a good emotional state to begin with. So they don't have a strong emotional foundation to support their mental state. This person... I don't know. They are so crazy... They're let, letting their balls hang. Like, I don't, I really don't have the words for it. But let me get into it. Because this energy is draining. Like, you know, you read for demons, blah, 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 blah. You know, people got entity attachments. But it's just as like trying to hold space inside of a. The mind of a lunatic is draining. A broken mind, fragmented, crushed. It's like soup. Mm. But anyway, let's get into it. Because I'm hungry. And this person is getting on my nerves. If you are positive, you better bless this place. If you are negative, you better get up on my face. If you are positive, you better bless this place. If you are negative, you better get up off my face. 
excuse me y'all i didn't realize my other card table was so far away mm, 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 mm. and in the previous reading you know, because I know that black magic is not going to resonate with everyone. And I was picking up other situations like in the workplace and everything like this. But this continuation of that reading is going to be for the people who resonate with that black magic. And maybe the others, but this ain't for everybody. Because this particular person is beyond the normal crazy that we talk about. This person is, I have no words for them. They're a lunatic. This is what we, we will be like, this person is motherfucking crazy. Like, excuse my language, but I'm not even playing with you. This is a crazy motherfucker and you need to get away. And for spirit to spend time on this back to back, because I set this up and then the readings be like, see, I always get dust on my face after I do this. But the readings are like a little bit over an hour. So they want me to spend. I've been here at this most of the morning. So this is serious. This is a serious warning. So I'm being real serious. To get across to you. How crazy this person is. They are a lunatic. They are stalking you. They are obsessed with you. They are sending you black magic. And they are not going to stop. Because they are not in control over their mind. The pain within them. Has taken over. I mean I still don't have words for this. But let me go. Let me. Let me do this. Let me. Let me. Um, this person is. What I legit would call disturbing. Inside of them is disturbed. And it's disturbing to know how they feel. And all I want to do is go chill at the beach with my vegan Chinese food. Okay. And this person is crazy as hell. So officially my morning has, I've been hanging out with a lunatic. Shit. Let me get this off my board. Let's get into these cards. <clears throat> Because I'm over it. All right. So the top row we have the three of pentacles. The hermit. They just. Every time I start reading, this is a new thing. Like I start burping. I was cool before I started. Like, that's interesting. It's starting. That's a new thing now. The Ten of Coins. The Ten of Wands. Tail. Black Magic. Give me a second, y'all. Let me organize my mind. Because being in a person's mind like this... You got to hold your mind together and make sure it's still organized to read this disorganization. And it's even beyond that because they're disorganized within hatred, malice, jealousy, sadness. These things gone uncontrolled will cause a person to lose their mind. Greed. And 
and ancient apology. The sunflower and the music, the musician. Jealousy kills, y'all. This is not happening right now. Give me a second. There were so many cards on this first one. And just like half of them just fell on the floor. And I gotta get them. <clears throat> and I'm trying to regulate my mood. Because I'm a strong empath. And being in this person's energy is just, you know, it's like I feel myself in a bad mood. I know it's not my energy, but it's like, damn, back to back, like, y'all. So as I'm, I'm trying to get it together. Second, you have the Queen of Pentacles, the Snake. And the strawberry. Are you serious? Look, I can't do this, God. Sorry, y'all. I'm having technical difficulties for real right now. The boy watching the flower. This person is stalking you. They are watching you. Oh my God, this person. Watching you succeed, this person is going crazy. I mean, being crazy. They are crazy. Next is the magician reversed. Attack. Showbiz. The betrayer in the garden. Which one? Delusion. This person's mine. They're stuck. Like, oh, I just, I don't think. The reason why I'm having a hard time with words is because we can say somebody is jealous, angry, greedy, and everything like that, but it's from an external perspective. Sitting inside of this person's energy at this time as an empath and in their mind, there are no words for this. Because this is not something that we are completely aware of, of someone in the inside, inside how and why they do something. And the reason why they have no control over themselves is because they can't even explain it. Damn, I don't know, y'all. Spirit, help me explain this. Mm. Next, we have the Seven of Swords. Delusion twice. Vampire. And they sold their soul in some way. They, they've given their awareness over to demonic energies. It's like they will do anything. Like This is like win at all cost. They got to win at all cost. Damn. This is like. Someone that's so crazy. They just want to see your demise. And they don't care if they die too. Damn. Spirit give me the words for this. You got the world 
Aquarius, fourth house, seventh house. Next in the second row. We have, excuse me, oh my God, the chariot, black magic, and protection. Third row. Under the three of pentacles. And that one, what I just did, the cherry and all, that's under the magician in the second row. We have the herder under the three of pentacles row. We have the knight under the queen of pentacles row on the third row. And we have collector. To sum that all up, we have the winner. And the destroyer. In that, um, well, actually, that was the clarifier for, see, their energy is so scattered as a reader. And I mentioned this in the reading before this, that I have to work extra hard to keep my energy organized. And, and not scattered because of. How fragmented they are. So this card actually clarifies. Technological progress. Hmm. And the overall. I'll get to it. When we get there. Give me a second, y'all. It's a lot of cards on this first one. And I want to get it right. I'm going to take my time to make sure that I'm organized. And that this person's energy doesn't take over mine. This person is off the rails. It's a runaway, a runaway train. And I got to stay on the tracks. Because all right. <clears throat> I'm sorry, give me a second. I want to make sure because this explaining this person, the first one, I, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven cards for the first bit. At the three of pentacles. The reason why this person is insane. A lunatic. It's because. They are suffering from an identity crisis. They don't know who they are. And they remain stable in this world. By stealing other people's existence. By stealing other people's energy. To do that. They put on a mask. They pretend like they are stable. To get close to a person. To steal. To take on their energy. But while they are doing that. This is a person that can't help but also. Destroy the other person at the same time. It's like admiration and jealousy. The fact that this person admires another makes them jealous. They are better than me. I must destroy them. They are better than me. I need to be like them. This person is crazy. This is not just a thought. This is something that is pervasive and it loops in their mind and it drives them crazy. 
so crazy. They watch. They spend most of their time reflecting on you. Particularly how you make your money. They are so jealous that you are stable and independent. This person is a vampire. They are not. They have to find energy sources because they don't know who they are. And they don't know the first step to even find out such things, who they are, what they want to do. They just observe others and see them doing it so they want to do it. Can you imagine? You got to depend on others' existence for you to exist? That alone, honestly, would drive me insane. It makes no sense. This person is definitely an energetic vampire. This person is greedy, like I said in the other reading. And you, watching you make money and them not knowing how to do it or not being beside you is killing them. They see you in some way shining, like performing, being seen and recognized for something. And they want to burden you. They can't stand it. I need to stop it. I hate this. I hate it. I hate it. This person is in their home going fucking crazy. If you could see them, you wouldn't even believe it. They just want to latch on to you and ride on your back. To take what you have, but also to burden you. They want to be able to stop what they see. They want to be able to stop you from shining. It's not me. It's not me. It's not me. Why is it never me? Why is it never me? Why is it never me? Why the fuck is it never me? Oh my God. This person is angry beyond belief. It's never you because who are you? That's why, bitch. This person tells themselves lies because they are narcissistic. They tell themselves lies and they tell lies to others. Because they don't know who they are, they have to create a false sense of reality around them in order to feel of importance. They know that is limited. And a person like this with black magic in their hands are you fucking serious? They're going to start working on the concrete? Oh my God. Okay, let me focus. This person is diabolical. This is what this person wants to do. They want to interrupt you and your life because they can't stand to watch it. It makes their skin crawl. It makes them want to punch 
the wall want to punch people. It makes they they just I can't explain this energy. They have knowledge of black magic. And they have been doing it on you because they are in their feelings. They want to destroy your light and take it at the same time. An empty soul versus an abundant soul. You guys are not in contact. This is in fact a continuation. And they want to come back to apologize. Bum ass. And look at you looking all saucy and sexy. To apologize to be in your energy. Because they see you becoming successful. But they are just coming to interrupt your life. To destroy everything that they see because they cannot have it because it is not them and they are willing to spend all of their energy and time and thought focusing on you on how are they going to do this how are they going to get back in your energy how 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 look this person needs to fucking let me stop Mm, mm, mm. Please don't fall. They are not in your energy because they have already betrayed you. This hatred, this lunacy in regards to you has been happening for a long time. And you guys have separated. And you think it's over. But it's not over for this person. You hear this shit? For real. But you know what? Usually I'm really mad. But this is fitting to this person's energy. If you're performing, this is exactly what they want to do in your life. It's to cause ruckus, noise, destroy. Because they are mentally ill and delusional, angry, malicious. If I've ever seen hatred on my board, it's on my board today. Hate. And I don't think I've ever felt it so clearly. They want to drain your energy. That's what they do. They ride on the energy of others. And they will do anything to get into your energy. To take what's yours. Whether it's being in your energy or through black magic. They will give anything. Including their soul. They have already done that. They have succumbed to their hatred. Their hatred has taken over them. To the point of lunacy. This is some low vibrational shit right here. This person is the bottom of the barrel. In the last reading I described them as dirty dirt. Dirt is useful. But like when you go into the hood and even in the park sometimes you'll see glass, little pieces of paper, plastic, straws. This is this person. They are dirty. This is some dirty ass. Uh, look, let me stop. This person is a sheep. They are mad. Because they know they don't have any originality. They know 
that they have lived a life copying little pieces of everyone. And they're like, why don't I know what to do? Why does everybody make it have creativity and I don't know? Why? Why do I have to copy others? Why? Why am I sheep? Why don't I know what to do? Why? Why? You are achieving something. Stable. You are someone that can manifest in this realm easily. Things grow around you. And this person has watched things grow around you. Right at this at this time, this is not for everybody. I don't know. Like, we're going to get into it. But they are watching you in the spotlight. They are watching you transform, become fertile, your beauty, abundance, they are watching this. This is like they, they low-key stalking you. They hate you, but they can't stop watching you. This person is obsessed. Because you've closed out a cycle on their, on the relationship with them. And even though they hated you, they at least wanted to ride on your coattails and benefit from knowing you. But that's too late. They've already betrayed you and you closed that cycle. They are just upset because they did it too soon. Soon as they did that. You started to shine. And really they don't realize it's because. They, you got their dirty ass out of your energy. And you were able to move on. Because this person. Is so low, low vibrational. Any person that they attach to. Or are in their energy. Their life becomes harder. That's how low of a frequency this person has. If anybody that wants to be successful, if they have this person in their energy, it will not happen. This is how bad this person is. Not only that, is that they're so jealous and envious and lost and hateful inside. They themselves would try to destroy it if they saw someone trying to move on or achieve anything. Misery loves company. Give me a second, y'all. Look, we got Aquarius. And I'm going to read these cards together. The fourth house and the seventh house. And this is next to this closed cycle with this person. In the reading before, this is like a friendship. And you guys are completely different. This person is trash. Genius to experiment, experiment with as you did in the past. Balance. This person... Wants... Like you may be doing it with the Aquarius. You may be doing something on the internet. And I don't want to get ahead of myself, but I am. With technological progress, this ain't for everyone. But, like, you may be achieving something. But the strong energy is like somebody may have a platform. Or doing something on the internet. Maybe a, a website. I don't know. But it's strong here. With the world, you are, have access to masses of people. 
and you're getting some type of recognition. And they want you, maybe in the past, this is a friend that you would do projects with. Like, yeah, we could do this together and we can make money like this and blah, 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 blah. You used to experiment with this person and, and balance. And they want that back. And they know they're not going to get that back. The discoveries of your home base or your family cooperation. They want to be a part of your circle. They still want you to cooperate with them. They see you working. You may be working from home. And they are jealous. Because the things that you experimented with them. And they will keep trying to destroy it. Because like whatever you guys would try to do. They're like, oh, this person is going to shine better than me in it. And they will sabotage it. It's coming strongly. Resulting from the eccentricity of do what makes you feel secure, your partners. So you moved on. Eccentric. With this Aquarius, you have something that's eccentric. It is, what's the word? Um. What you're how you're showing up is a signature that only you have. It's not the same. It's creative. They're wishing that they could have thought of it. You're doing something that makes you happy, and they want to be your partner. They wish they was in a relationship so they can be a part of it, and they are not. And they're driving. It's driving them crazy. And they don't want to see you succeed. Because they were right there. They could have did it. But they're so fucking crazy. And they want to be mad at you. That they destroyed their own chances. The fact that they could have. Done something. That could have. Gotten them money. Or gotten them notice. The attention that they want. And they threw it away. It is making them utterly insane. The cycle is closed. And your ideas is winning. Your ideas are being seen. And this person is fucking losing it. Because at the seventh house partnerships, you guys are no longer friends. You guys are no longer in relationship, whatever type of relationship this was. They blew it. As you did in the past. As you did in the past, your home base and family. They know that. Before you knew who they were, you were like they were like family to you. They are so mad at themselves because they know they are dumb. They are dumb as fuck. But they want to blame you for that. Because this is a person that can't look at themselves. They don't even have. Not one bone in their body. That would have allowed them to be supportive enough. To be a part of this. Partners my ass. Let me stop cussing. This person is disgusting. I'm disgusted with this person. What a user. This person is just full of nastiness and hatred. This person is, I don't even know. Let me move on. You are high vibrational. You fight for what's yours. You defend what's yours. Special intelligence, mercenary, you're a fighter. 
and bodyguard. They know that you are protecting yourself against their sheeple ass. Because they want to follow you. They want to go. Let I'm you, you on a horse. You about to ride this baby sheep? You ain't going nowhere. You ain't getting on my horse. That you can't even fucking bitch. Look, let me let me focus. This person. This person is useless. They are a virus. They are in a in they are they are an in, an infection. Like you get them into your energy and your sore, you'll get a sore and it'll ooze. They will, they are a festering, putrid soul. I don't know how to explain this. God help me. The jealousy that is on them. No wonder why the other reading has so many demons because of the darkness this person is in. They're beyond any help. This is one of those dark souls that I know. Like they not, they they not gonna come back from this. Like there's a lot of souls here, on this planet that is and will be forever lost. And this seems like one of them. I don't want to project, but it's here. And I ain't projecting for me because I ain't one of them. I'm getting my ass up out of this bitch. And this person is not. Like this person is in the depths of their own personal hell. And they want to drag people down to hell with them. This amount of dirtiness, y'all. Let me move on. This person is watching you be creative, professional. And is driving them crazy. A role model. Look, it was really like this. This is under. I'm, I'm ahead of myself, but this is under. They want to collect your energy. But let me move on to the dark magician. I want to move ahead. This person has been. They have gone so far in their anger. And the fact that they know that you have closed the cycle on them. If they can't be a part of it, they want to destroy it. And even if they could be a part of it, they still would destroy it because it's yours. It wasn't them. This person, the magic that they are doing and sending to you, they want to destroy you. Look, this fool coming, this dark horseman coming to chop him down. She got her pow pow. Look, you got demon dogs coming. They are sending Everything they can to you. To knock you off your pedestal. Because they cannot take it. Look. They are the queen. They are narcissists. And you are. You are crumbling their illusion. They want you dead. I'm sorry. This came up in the other reading. They just want you dead. This person is a murderer. Whether you do it in the physical or in the spiritual, it's all energetic. It's the same. This person is so crazy, they would murder you. And the only reason why, I'm sorry, look, I'm, I don't know what the language is on YouTube. I don't, you know, I don't even care at this point. I, I just got to explain this. The energy that I'm feeling is if they thought that they could actually physically murk you and get away with it, they would. They wouldn't even deal with this magic. This is why Spirit is doing a continuation of this reading because they want you to know how crazy this person is.
If they can manifest death for you, it would satisfy it would satisfy them. Like literal death, y'all. Entertainment purposes only, but lit. I'm seeing what I'm seeing. This person, the things that are in their mind, like I can't, I don't even want to say on camera. This stuff, like the things that go and they, how much they hate you, watching you succeed, like, oh, but it's so clear in my mind. They have visions of unaliving you. Like, what's in my mind is somebody with a knife just. <laughs> like, this person is fucking crazy, dude. Like, and they think about it often. This is a person you cannot let around you. They would lose it. This person needs to be locked up. In a mental hospital or something. They. See you. Like this is the performer. Like for the third time. They see you shining. And they think they should be standing next to you. All the attention that you get. Is killing them. They want to sneak up and destroy you. Like literally. They are watching you. This person is a stalker. Like something is going on. They are watching you. They are watching you. They are watching you. Look, they are watching you. They spend most of their time doing this. This is crazy. They are in, in a delusion. A real delusion. A space of darkness. They're lost in this dark magic. They're lost in their darkness. I mean, I don't, what the hell is this? Hey, y'all got to understand that people really be this crazy. Like, for real. You see... All the time on news where people be like, I shot, they shot their wife and they five kids. And I mean, it's for real. And it's on my board right now. Somebody's in such an amount of jealousy and hatred. It's. They want to move forward. And destroy you. They are insane. Uh, they are so mad. And they just keep doing. Some type of black magic. Over and over and over and over and over. Da, da, da. Look. This person is crazy. This person is crazy. They want to destroy you with this fucking black magic. They want to annihilate you. And it's, but it's not working, y'all. Because look, 
you be you defend yourself. You got protection. You got um, spirit animals. Like they try to come through the door. You got protectors. Like what? That swordfish gonna get them right in the eye. Lick. Because you have protectors. Look with this checkerboard floor that keep you balanced. So all they can do is watch you achieve something. And they want to collect your energy. Not only are they doing this destructive magic, but some of the magic that they are doing is they want to harvest your energy. They want to harvest your creativity. They want to harvest like all the knowledge that you um, use to make a profession for yourself. They want to model themselves after you. They want to do what you do, your hobbies. This person is a damn. Like a human skinwalker. Like, they want to walk in your skin. Not like, really just saying skin. This is soul power. This is soul power. Who you are, your creativity, or this is soul power. They, they are soulless. And what they're really jealous of is that you have a soul. You have soul power. This per this person don't realize that their soul has been in turmoil. Like they like this this is a person that has should have been doing shadow work since birth. Like I think they came in here like this, low on soul power. Or with no soul like and you're an energy with a lot of soul power and you're the one that sent them over the edge. They were already weak. And now they see you on the internet for most of you. Because this whatever it is that you do, I don't know. You could, a performer on stage came, you might act, you might dance, you might do a lot of things. But whatever... This is the age of Aquarius. If anything is working, most likely it is on the internet. This person sees you progressing. They have assets. Even if it's not like a platform, you're taking pictures on uh, Facebook or Instagram. Like, uh, mm, I got a new car. Uh, mm, I look good. And, mm, mm, I'm achieving. Woo, 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 woo. This person... Is stalking you on the internet and they see they're watching you and they see how others watch you and you're getting the gold you're running away with your piece of the cake not the whole damn cake and this person running right behind you energetically trying to destroy you and knock you off your feet For the overall. This definitely applies. This is a continuation of the other reading. This person lied. They enjoyed this. They gossiped. They had a whole plan on the magic they were going to do. And all this type of stuff to destroy you. They, hold on, give me a second. Because they saw you achieving here. This is like for the third time, achieving and being seen the greatest show on earth. Look, look at this. I'm about to, uh-uh. Hold on, give me a second, y'all. There's a lot. This is crazy. Do not fall, please. Give me a second, y'all. 
I don't know where the other card is, but anyway. They see you achieving and being seen, being a showstopper. Where is that other card? Mm, here it is. A showstopper. Like five times. I can't make it up. They're watching you. They're a stalker. They are watching you. Give me a second. Because I just needed to show that because it's so strong. Oh my God, sorry y'all, give me a second. And it's driving them insane. They are losing their mind. They are blinded by their own hypnosis. They have literally hypnotized themselves with your energy. Give me a second. One, two, three, four, yes. This person watches you and they cry. You hear me? They cry. And watching you succeed. Because they used to be your friend. And now they are just an alien to you. Somebody that you used to know. Somebody that you no longer know. And they, you are getting a victory without them. It is driving them insane. And they cry. They cry every time they see you. On the internet, heard real loud. Well, however that is. Word of mouth, whatever. Posting, I don't know what this is, but internet is out here really heavy. And every time they find out or see you doing your thing, they cry. Ooh, they cry. When I tell you they cry, they cry. Ooh, they cry. Like, um, I'm feeling like, I mean, you know, most of us have done this. Like, cry so hard, laying down in our bed in our pillowcase all wet. This person cries. So, let's see what else. This is what I have on my board. So, let's see what else Spirit has to say about this. This person cries mm. and screams. They scream and they cry because they are stuck. They are stuck and you are not. Damn. And there may be somebody around them that can see this. Ooh, this person screen cries. They, it's like no amount of, amount of crying or screaming helps them release what they're feeling. It just infuriates them. Because they can't reflect and see a new perspective. What do we need to know, Spirit? Mm. You got the shoes at the door? You got the bridge. Mm. Mm. 
Wow. And you have the hiker and this person fucking crying. Because they don't know where to go. Look. This person wants you to let them back in to your house. Remember, that's, this can't be a part of your family again. You close that cycle. The fourth house and relationship, and they are no longer seen as family. This is like a friend or something that you saw as family, and they showed you otherwise. They want you to let them back in, but you have separated yourself from them because you know better. You know that this person is dark and they think dark. They want you to come back and tell them, hey, you can come with me. It's okay. I'm going to let you sit there in this dirt for the rest of your life crying. I would, mm-mm. You better leave this person sitting here in this dirt. Look at them. They don't have nothing. They don't have no water, no food, no snacks. They don't have a little blanket to sit on. They ain't got nothing. Shoes. Look, do they got shoes on? Is it socks? Look. They don't have nothing. But dirty energy, sadness, Everything that is low vibrational. They want to come with you. And they are so crazy. Like, how are you going to want to come with somebody that you're trying to destroy? Like, they don't even know whether they want to come with you, destroy you. They so sick in, inside of and their energy. If they came with you, they would just destroy your chances and theirs because they are spiritually. I don't want to say infected because they are infected, but it's deeper than that. They are like. A spiritual festering sore. Like wounds that won't heal and they smell. And they ooze pus. This is that person's spiritual energy. Look. They, I'm telling you. They want to get on your horse. Look at this. Didn't I just say, didn't I say that? I said, they want to get on your horse. They want to get on your horse and come with you and drain your energy, use you for your energy because they are an energetic vampire. Anything else, Spirit? This person is pissing me off. They gave me a headache. This person. This is some. This is some heavy jealousy. That you want somebody dead. You, they, this person is confused. They screaming. They crying on a daily basis. This person is crazy and so. Damn, y'all. I still don't feel like I've explained it. Thank you, God, that I've never experienced this. And stay with me, Spirit, so that I've never experienced this. Amen. What do we need to know, Spirit? We have royalty. Damn. Mm. 
two people in space. Wow, look at this. What do we need to know? Oh my God. Stop screaming, y'all. I'm sorry for screaming and screaming. But... Look at this shit here. Look at this! It here! And for this is giving me the same energy from the last time I pulled this card of North Node. This person sees you as royalty and you have a following. Some of you may have a following and look at them. They want to stand next to you and look like royalty too. You, ooh, you are going through a portal. You have opened your portal. It's fully formed. Theirs are not and look at them. They like, oh, I can come with them. Yeah, I can come with them. Bitch, no. No, you cannot. So I can eat this, so they can take care of me and feed me their energy because I'm greedy and I want what they have. I want. A part of the money that they... Because we were friends, family. They wouldn't leave me behind. I'm an energetic vampire. I want to eat their energy. Look at this shit here. This person is so low vibrational and demonic. This person is hella demonic. And greedy. They will eat you alive. Because they see you going to your north node. And they want to come. And you're like, I'm sorry, I got to go. Do not look back. Do not talk to this person. Do not even tell them anything. This is a no. How this son is like, oh, I'm going here. No. Don't you hear this person tapping on the window? Act like you don't hear shit. You better keep going. Because this person, this person, this person, look, this person, no. That's a no. That is a no. Okay, I'm going to stop yelling. I'm sorry. Let me end this because I'm... What else do we need to know, Spirit? Time to end this. Shit. It was time to end this when it started. Because I feel like I've just been yelling for an hour. This person's energy is so draining. I'm going to go, I'm going to go, oh, I'm going to just treat myself today to some dinner because no. Triumph. What else do we need to know? Hmm. What is this? Mm-mm. person is evil. I mean pure evil. This person is pure evil. Man, spirit ain't oohs. I'm saying it. Look, you are of the light. And this was you of are the light. A triumphant abundant soul. And this person is of the dark and they have nothing. You guys are completely different. 
if you let this person in your energy, it will affect you greatly. It will destroy you. This person will destroy you just to make themselves feel better. Damn. This is some disgusting energy, y'all. Ooh, this is so disgusting. This person is a ooh. They a liar. They all kinds of things. Look, this this is a continuation of another reading. The other reading before this one. And spirit is not playing. This relationship, man, I can't make this up. This card came out in the last reading. It's poisonous. You guys are completely different. Look, these two arrows are different. You need to release them completely. And in the other reading, spirit warned from this black magic. And even if you did it already and you're aware of it, you need to do another cord cutting. Cut this person out of your energy. This person is legit insane. They are, in fact, a lunatic. They are demonic. Oh, my head hurt. God help me. Please, God, help me. You got water the last time you got fire. Talisman, like I said, they are in their emotions. Because they want you to let them in again. Look. Where is that card? If I can even find it. There's so many cards out here at this time. I just let I just let it I just let it rip. I just let it go because well whatever. Y'all saw it. The keys. They want you to let them in again. And they are in their emotions. They be at home crying, screaming. Like this person. Mm, the message. Please listen to the message. Spirit has given two hours, over two hours, two and a half hours of a message about this lunatic. Please, whoever this is for, whoever, this ain't for everybody. Whoever this is for, please listen to this message. It is a hell of a warning. Y'all, if y'all can feel this energy, y'all, mm -mm. What do they need to know, spirit? The message. Look, this came out in the other reading. Y'all gonna blow, y'all mind gonna be blown if y'all didn't see that other reading. If you did see the first one and you come into the second one, your mind is gonna be blown. This person is different than you. You are the sun. They are the moon. And they want to turn back the hands of time so they could be in your energy, benefit off your energy, drain your energy, destroy your energy, your high vibrational energy. Love the same card spirit. This is a hell of a warning, y'all. I don't even know. I really hope that I am communicating the urgency of this reading correctly because it is in fact an urgent warning what what hey this person is watching you man y'all gonna be mind blown y'all see the end of that other reading this person is watching you they are so jealous of you it they are so jealous of you that it is blinding them. They are focused on you. Like obsessed. They want to bring a death to your achievements. Because they are not a part of it. And even if they were. They so sick in the soul. 
they still destroy it. They are watching you in your di divinity. Connected. And shifting your reality, which they cannot do. Because they are not a part of the divine. Oh my God, spirit. What, what else do we need to know? This person is jealous. You got home. And grounded. Give me one more. The full moon. They want you to know that they are attacking your home space, your stability during full moon cycles. Stupid bitch. Shit. What else? You got knowledge, luck. Mm, what else, spirit? This is a long reading. I think one of the longest I've ever done. And truth. Also, the magic that they're doing, they're attacking your home. They are attacking your stability. They are trying to, remember I said they're trying to energy harvest? They are trying to energy harvest your knowledge, your creativity, all that type of stuff. They're trying to, remember I said they're trying to harvest this? Your, what you know about your profession, so that how they can model you, the, your soul energy, so they can copy you. They are trying to harvest your energy and your luck. And that's the truth. If this has helped you, please like, share, subscribe, and until next time.